Oh, beautiful feed ahead to Sherna, unable to handle cleanly. Crawford for three, ring it up. That we just saw from Davis to Tisdale. Thompson three, short. Chased down by Crawford. Crawford on the baseline, reverses, and hits, and a foul. Yes, it counts. First turnover by Northwestern. They had just three turnovers the first game they played against Illinois. Steal by Nash, here's Crawford to finish, and one. Illinois just one for four from the field in the first six minutes of this one. Murkovich sprung free. Trying to force the issue is McCamey stolen by Nash to Crawford on the corner. Nash up for the rebound, and we get a foul. On, on the, the bench, bench for Northwestern, he's back with two personal fouls. Feeding inside Markovich, beautiful move around Tisdale. That's something Northwestern doesn't want to do. They don't want to get into that kind of a track beat. Sure, three, three, Who am I going to go to on that break? And that time, lack of communication allowed him for an easy break. And now in place of Juice Thompson, Nick Fruin. Here's Rowley inside, and he got it to go. You know, you got to force him to put it on the floor and not give him a shot. Even though it was deep, he could still make that shot. Rally able to keep it under control for a moment. Goes back up and in. <laughs> He's got four. To be good. Crawford gets baseline. The runner, tough angle, makes it go. As bad as maybe at, you know, at first, uh, first glance. Nash quickly off the curl. Kaposi the rebound. Nash for three. Ring it up. That's what? When you don't have the numbers on the back side, you got a good chance to score. Nash from the outside connecting. Shot to get him involved. He's really putting the ball on the ground, putting his head down on the top. Murkovich rambles through the lane after lulling Tisdale to sleep. Richardson races across. Bad pass there. Murkovich trying to dig it out and does to Sherna. They've got numbers. Three on one. Sherna on the drive. To go overtime to beat Northwestern in Evanston. Oh, what great ball moving out of that timeout and sure to the flush. Four. We ought to also said we're, our team is getting the looks, we're just not making the shot. Crawford explodes off the wing for two. He has 15, and suddenly it's a four point ball game. Nearing six minutes to go, things have tightened considerably. McKamey into the lane, knocked away by Murkovich. Sherna hits the deck. They got a hell ball. Or is it a timeout? If it's a hell ball, it belongs to Northwestern. But they're calling a foul, I believe. Richardson in the corner. Paul, no. And the rebound to Northwestern. Great defense by the Wildcats, not allowing in the line night to get any kind of dribble penetration. Nash for the lead. Now see, that's the kind of three-pointer that Bill Carmody was talking about. Off the transition break, you, you penetrate just a little bit, but you have an open good shot instead of forcing one. Now you have another great defensive play by Jeremy Nash. Dimitri McKamey's third personal foul. Timeout, Illinois. Bruce Weber's got to get a handle on this, and I mean in a hurry. 5-12 to go, and Northwestern leading by the slimmest of margins. They're trying to get Sherna down low against Brandon Paul. Yeah, they get a, the, the Wildcats get a score here, went to the crowd. Thompson, ring it up for three! And listen to the crowd, listen to the crowd. Look at the bench at Northwestern. Everybody's involved in this game because they know how important it is that they have to win. Thompson's first three points of the game, Northwestern by four. This is amazing right now for this North. Western crowd to be involved in the game like it is. Nash, the runner through the lane, got the bounce off the back of the rim. Jeremy Nash, what a game for him. 16 points for Nash, and the Cats lead by four. Here's Richardson. They're not recognizing the shot clock. They're not recognizing the shot clock. And time winds down. Nobody on the bench said it either. Thompson looking to turn the corner. In the corner, shoot a three side clock. Mike Davis back into the ball game. He has four personal fouls for Illinois. Sherna almost a turnover there. And then he got bumped from behind for March for the NCAA. Northwestern comes in 13 and 5 as far as the NCAA is concerned. See a high pick and roll between Thompson and Murkovic. Now you got a chance to see if you can dribble, drive, and kick. Sherna for three. And the follow by Nash. A dagger. 
they may get consideration in March. Thompson breaks it across, and the foul committed by McCamey. Eight minutes a game, folks, in conference play. Never comes out. Ball for three again. Not that time. Murkovich the rebound. Yeah. Now they've got a foul, and they foul Jeremy Nash. CAA tournament. I know it's only January, folks. There's a lot of work to be done. Tim Doyle bring you up to date on all the Big Ten action. Second free throw by Nash is good. 20 for him equals his career high set earlier this season. This would be a devastating loss for Illinois coming off the home loss to Purdue. And Sherna is fouled right away by D.J. Richardson, so Sherna going to the line. All season long, they couldn't get stops down the stretch against Purdue. Five minutes ago last year, lost on a jumper by Dimitri McCain. Ball off the bench, and D.J. Richardson now with 17. And got a quick whistle. See post-game show coming up next. Sure enough, one out of two at the line. Nash, and they come to foul him with 4.1 remaining. It's a three-point ball game. It's his first three-point attempt of the season, and he drains it in the final seconds. But Nash continues to throw daggers at the free throw line against the Illini. Jeremy Nash now eight out of nine at the foul line. them both 22 for Nash 73 68 here come the Illini Richardson no at the buzzer the Wildcats have defeated the Illini for the first time in six years Northwestern defeats Illinois, 73-68. Don't forget to join us for more Big Ten men's basketball Sunday, 2.30 Eastern. Penn State travels to Wisconsin. And then at 6, Iowa and Indiana for Jim Jackson, Carissa Thompson, our entire crew. This is Wayne Larrabee. You have been watching a special presentation of the Big Ten Network. Once again, the final score from Evanston. Northwestern 73, Illinois 68. Let's send it over to Dave Redson in the studio with the GMC post-game report.